and this is Wonderless and Beyond. Today we're in the kitchen and we're going to make tortilla de patata, also known as tortilla de papas or tortilla española. It is a very easy Spanish recipe that requires only a few key ingredients. Potatoes, eggs, salt, olive oil, and the very controversial onion, which makes it the tortilla española. So let's get into it. Here we have the ingredients. Uh, potatoes, for potatoes, you want to use a waxy potato uh, because you want it to keep their shape and not um, fall apart, like not mush up. So in that case, I am using a white or a new potato. Uh, we're going to need about a kilo of potatoes and six eggs, one onion, two cups of olive oil, and some salt to season. This recipe, we're, we might not need the full six eggs. It is kind of like the recipe that our grandma used to make where it's just by feel. And the star of the recipe is really the potato. The eggs are just supporting cast. So let's get started. First we're gonna peel the potatoes and uh, slice them up and slice up the onion. So first we, we're gonna start with our onion and get that going. So you want to slice the onions in half moons. So we're gonna start off by sauteing the onions in one cup of olive oil. I have a 10 inch cast iron pan and I'm gonna pour one cup of oil, olive oil in it. And then you want to slowly saute the onions. We're not frying them, we're almost like poaching them in olive oil. You want to cover the onions in the olive oil and make sure that it is like a slow cooking process. And um, we're almost poaching the onions and we want to get them nice uh, caramelized because that's going to give it a really good, uh, great taste. And please don't be worried about all the olive oil that we're using. See how there is like a slow bubble kind of thing. So you want to keep it just like this. You're not frying the onions. We don't want to fry them. So now while our onions are poaching away, we're going to peel the potatoes and uh, slice them up. Okay, potatoes are peeled. Now we're going to cut them up. Um, I like to cut them in half and then slice them about this thickness. You want them about that thick. Keeping an eye on the onions. Oops. And they've been about, it's been about maybe close to 10 minutes now. They should take about 15 minutes to get to the consistency that we're looking for. Guys, I had to go get my glasses because honestly, uh, <laughs> I was having a hard time seeing what I was doing. That was the joy of getting older. So I first came across tortilla de patata. I actually think they called it Tortilla Española when we went to Barcelona six years ago. Um, and then just this past year, when I was on the Camino de Santiago, um, I probably ended up having Tortilla de Batata every day for 35 days. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you watched my Camino vlog, um, uh, you'll you'd see me having tortilla de batata every day and um, I didn't get sick of it. That's how good it is. So the onions are done. 
and I'm just going to take them out. And I just poured the rest of the cup that we had of olive oil in it and we're just uh, waiting for it to heat up a bit and then we're going to add the potatoes. To it. Okay, so the oil is hot. We're going to add our potatoes to it. And again, you want to have it on low because the, we're going to poach the potatoes. We're not frying them. So I just want to show you what it should look, look like. Uh, I added a bit more olive oil that we used from frying the onions, just so that most of the potatoes are covered. And again, we're looking for that it's not frying the potatoes, you're just poaching them in the olive oil. It's a very slow cooking process. So I know that there will be people in my comments going, but Claudia, are you not supposed to use extra virgin olive oil past its smoke point? Yes, correct. Uh, but the smoke point for olive oil is 410. And I'm gonna show you that because we're doing a very low cooking, we're almost poaching the potatoes, we're not frying, that that is not an issue here. You can see I'm in the middle of the pan, right? And it's at 214. So it is key that we're, it is on low. I just have it on three on mine. So you gotta see what it is for yours, but it's at 214. So way below the smoke point. And you can see like the olive oil is clean. It's not burning. So there's no concern. So I think the potatoes are almost ready. I just tried them and um, you wanna see that they're cooked. And as you can see, it looks like they're cooked. Um, they're still retaining its shape, but it's easy. And I just tried a bigger piece and it was cooked. So I'm just gonna let it go maybe for another minute. It's been about 10 minutes. So this is a very intuitive um, cooking process because um, just because my potatoes took 10 minutes to cook, your potatoes might take a bit longer. It just depends on the heat source and where you're cooking the potatoes in. Um, a cast iron pan tends to heat up faster and retain more of the heat. Um, so just keep that in mind. It's a very intuitive cooking process. Now we're just doing the same thing we did with the onions um, and just be careful because it is hot olive oil. We're going to drain it all out. So now that we have all our ingredients ready, I'm going to show you just the onions. See how they're nicely caramelized. We have our potatoes and I've gone ahead and um, did put in four eggs. We have two more to go. So now let's add our potatoes to the onions. And we're gonna season that with some salt. Again, this is all intuitive. You add as much salt as you'd like for yourself. And let's mix up the onions and the potatoes. So now we're going to add just four eggs. We need to remember that the potatoes is the star of this recipe. The eggs are just a supporting cast. So we've added the four eggs and we're going to see what it looks like. Because we're not making a frittata, we're making a um, tortilla. So there will be more potatoes than 
eggs. To me, this looks perfect. See this, we, we're looking for this consistency where it's mostly just potatoes and the egg is what's holding it all together. So I'm not going to add uh, the two eggs. I'm just keeping it at four. So I'm using the same pan that I used to poach the potatoes and the onions. And I added two tablespoons of the same oil, the olive oil that we used to do that. Um, and we're just heating it up. And we want to keep it low as well. So I have it at a medium. So you might be asking, Claudia, what am I supposed to do with all this olive oil now? Well, this olive oil, I'm just going to show you. It is clean. It's clean olive oil. There's nothing wrong with it. If anything, it is flavored olive oil. You can use it to um, make eggs in the morning or make another, um, sorry, make, you can make another tortilla. Okay, the pan is hot. We're gonna add in our tortilla. We're just gonna pack it in here and like I said you want to keep it on medium so it cooks slow and it doesn't start burning at the bottom so now we just want to keep an eye on it um, and let it cook slow we're looking for it to set so it's been about um, four to five minutes now and it is ready to be flipped. So I'm gonna flip it the old fashioned way with a plate. And then we're gonna add it back in. and cook it for another um, four minutes or so. So here we have our beautiful tortilla uh, de betata. Um, and now let's cut into it. This is a great um, dish to have in the morning as breakfast, like many Spaniards do, or as uh, a lot of the times you will have them as a tapa in the afternoon. So let's see how this turned out. It is beautiful inside. So here you have it, the tortilla de batata. I hope you enjoyed it. This is a great recipe to uh, make as like a snack when the kids are coming home and you can serve it as an afternoon snack or as your dinner and serve it with a side salad. Um, in Spain, it's usually as a tapa or you can find it in the morning to have as breakfast and they usually serve it with a slice of bread. And that's how I usually had it on the Camino. So I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.